camera your first and last name and spell them? Uh, my first name is Zach and my last name is Lee. Uh, it's spelled Z-A-C-H and then my last name is spelled L-I. Uh, what are your preferred pronouns? Uh, he, him. Okay. Uh, do we have permission to use the interview, the, this footage for an interview in a documentary? Uh, yes. Okay. So, what was your life like pre-COVID? Uh, Pre-COVID, it was like pretty normal grade 8. It was just like you go to school, you do work, you go home, and you play video games or something. It was very normal. How or when did you hear about the coronavirus? I heard about first from uh, relatives in China uh, because they were the first to actually be affected by it. And then it kind of just like went, I heard it from like, new, like social media uh, pretty quickly after that. Um, what did you think? What were your assumptions? Um, I thought that it wouldn't really affect us since it was all the way in China and it didn't, uh, it seemed very far away, but it turns out it wasn't. What was your reaction to school shutting down? Um, my reaction to school shutting down, it was expected because um, like at the time uh, there's been, there was like many reports of people getting COVID in Canada, but uh, I just didn't know how long. At first I was quite happy because like you didn't really get you didn't have to go to school it was like an extra long march break but it got kind of boring after a while yeah um, are you involved with any sports or sports teams uh, I used to oh, well right before code I played volleyball and then like tennis uh, mostly how did your uh, team handle the lockdown well volleyball didn't continue uh, it was it ended in like January but uh, tennis, I just didn't play tennis in the summer. It was like, because everything was locked down. How many complications of no, competitions and or practices were you in prior to the lockdown? How did you do? Uh, right before the lockdown, I didn't really practice that much. It was just like, I just went like once a week for volleyball, but that's it. And then uh, after uh, it started, well, we just didn't go. Did you stay in contact with your friends during lockdown? Yeah, we basically like, it was, like every day we would like get on Discord and just call for basically the whole day, just doing like homework or watching stuff or like playing video games or something. Uh, how much of an effect do you think COVID had on your social life? Uh, between me and like the friends I already knew, there wasn't that much of an effect since we were still talking to each other every day and didn't really feel like anything changed. It's just, it, you just missed out on the opportunity to meet like new people that you normally would if you went to school normally. So none of your relationships really changed? Uh, not really. How did your daily schedule change for education? Uh, it went from actually waking up early, like going to school and then coming home. Uh, to just like s sleeping in a bit and then doing work in like doing your school work at like like later in the day or something or maybe not even doing it and just doing random stuff all day that wasn't very productive. Were your grades impacted in any way? Uh, for, from COVID, no, because there's do no harm. So no, no matter if you did work or didn't do work, you would still have like at the same grade or higher than what you ended with. So I did like a few activities just to, so I was able to get honors, but that was about it. So you think your grade was higher than it actually would have been? Yeah, definitely. Everyone's grades were inflated. Right. Yeah. How, how did you feel about the do no harm policy in general? Um, I felt it was fair, since like there, you can't judge you can't judge someone's like capabilities um, after switching like to a drastically different environment. Uh, but at the same time, uh, like making it do no harm like discourage people from actually learning and doing the work that they were supposed to, so. Are there any teachers or teaching styles that stood out to you? Um, not entirely. It was, it was very, uh, it was, the teaching wasn't really teaching. It was mostly the teachers just like sent you like, um, at least what our teacher did was they sent us like one website with like, like 10 different assignments every day that you were supposed to do. Um, and they weren't even related to like any particular subject. There was like mostly language, but there's some math and stuff. It was really random. They did not know how to teach online, but it wasn't really their fault. So you don't think they handled it that well? They handled it to the best of their ability, but 
in terms of like actually learning things, you didn't really learn anything. Describe a typical day of what online school was like. Uh, mostly just like you wake up whenever you decide to wake up. And I would just get on, get on a call. And then uh, whenever we felt like doing work, we would just do work. But otherwise, it was just doing random stuff, playing video games, stuff like that. Yeah. How did you feel during lockdown? Um, I didn't feel that much, really. It was, I, I mean, I, th I liked it. It was, it was like... I mean, you didn't get to, you didn't have to really do work. You didn't have to do anything. It was pretty fun, but like, the the downside to it was like you couldn't really go out that much. So, how did uh, isolation impact your mental health? Uh, it doesn't didn't really impact my mental at all. I'm, I, I mean, I'm kind of used to working alone because like that's why I prefer working alone rather than like with being like I'm more introverted than extroverted, I would say. So I, I didn't really care. But I think I think there's a lot of people that just really wanted to just get out of their houses and like actually talk to people. So you didn't really do anything like cope with it. No, I didn't really have any problems. What are your thoughts on restrictions being lifted? Um, I'm actually quite happy that they're lifted. Uh, I, th uh, like, well, we could actually go out now. We can go to school normally. It's like, you don't have to wear a mask everywhere, and for the most part, I. At least at our age, COVID doesn't really affect us as much as compared to people that are older that are more vulnerable to it. So I think it's great. Do you think COVID is over? Uh, as of now, not really. And I don't think it will be for a while. But I think people will get used to it, kind of like the flu or the cold. Right, so it will, it will stay with us. Yeah, it will, it will stay with us for like the rest of humanity, just how big of an impact it has on us will uh, decrease over time. What was a mistake that was made in the way we handled COVID as an I think, like government? Um, in, in my opinion, the way they handled the vaccines was really bad. It was like, uh, at least like, um, for the people that weren't vaccinated, you couldn't really do anything, even though it didn't, it, it, like getting the vaccine didn't decrease the chance of you having COVID, it only decreased the, um, the effects of it. So for those who didn't get it, like you, it, it's not really fair that you can't go anywhere. You'll still, everyone will still get COVID the same, it's just how much of an effect it has on you, it just uh, differs. Do you, what do you think was handled well? Um, I think the whole, um, masking and like sanitation thing was handled pretty well uh it was very it was, at least it was very fast especially like at school i'm pretty sure it was like one class where a kid was sick well not even covid but then what, what like in a, my friend's class and what happened was they all had to evacuate the room there was like people with like like suits that came in or something they had desanitized the whole room and they, uh, they had to they had to move to a different room for the rest of the day wow. so <laughs> Did, did any part of you like change during COVID? Uh, not, uh, at least like for me, not really. I kind of just stayed the same person. I mean, I grew up normally, but other than that, I was just the same person. How do you decide what information would you trust on about COVID and news in general? Um, I mean, there you can look, at least how I always thought of it is, you can look at the news as like a kind of a trend of where COVID is, but you don't want to look at the exact numbers. Like, especially the COVID cases, there's no way they can track every single case and of everyone. You just, you can kind of see um, of the people they are tracking, you can see if it, if COVID is increasing or decreasing, but you can't say for certain that it's like there. Uh, the most trusted sources are from like the medical professionals in the government, obviously, but as like, as in specific information, you can't really trust all information like completely. You gotta, Use your own thinking a little bit. What's the question nobody's asking? About COVID? Yeah, I assume so. Uh, I guess like, I don't know. I, I, the only question I have was like, when, when, when is it ending? But like, I don't know about a question that no one's asking. Yeah. So what do you think will happen in the near future with COVID? 
uh, in the near in the near future. I mean, uh, they're probably going to make more vaccines, more booster shots, and whatnot. And it's going to uh, and the overall like number of cases of COVID might decrease because like people are more immune to it. Um, that's about it. I think the restrict. I think the restrictions are probably gone for good. There's there's really no reason for them to bring it back at a time like now. What lingering effects do you think COVID will leave in its wake? Um, probably long term health effects. You can probably see that right now in some people. There's not enough. There's not enough uh, information about COVID and research done that we know know for a fact what COVID's effect is on the human body. We can kind the, the medical specialists kind of know, but uh, we'll only see the long term effects when the time comes. So, how has COVID altered your view of your own future? Um, well, in terms of my future, I'm just thinking like a, a job wise. You can really like during COVID, you can really see which uh, like industries in the economy are extremely vulnerable to things like this and which industries thrived in a, like a time like this. Like uh, during COVID, I mean, small businesses, restaurants, that kind of thing, they all suffered immensely. But industries like, well, like social media, like internet-based industries and like the tech world, they, they thrived. They made more money than like any other uh, industry. So that really like puts, a, puts into perspective like what, type of industry I want to go into in the future, like whether it will be uh, sustainable or not. Like what industries uh, require human contact or not? Well, yeah, more, more so like what industries will survive in like a pandemic like the one we had. Sure. What are your hopes for the future? Um, well, obviously my hope is that COVID goes away completely, but like uh, like realistically, just that uh, the, the restrictions are all over then that we don't have to go back to the lockdown again. What did you learn from your experience that you wish everyone knew? What would change if everyone knew it? Uh, I mean, I think with uh, with COVID and everything, I I think the main thing that everyone kind of at least students should know is that um, self learning is an extremely important skill, especially when you don't have teachers actually guiding you. Learning to um, like do your own research, learn on your own, is very important. Expect like when you don't have someone that can actually teach you it.